now let's talk about money okay so how much i can earn if i start this business what's the scope or what amount i can earn from this business the answer is pretty clear For so example, friend today's topic is basically how to start your building planning and sanctioning business so uh, the first point is that what is building planning and sanctioning in previous video we have already discussed that what is building planning still i will explain that the building planning is simple concept you have to provide the planning for any kind of a structure that may be a simple house or home uh, structure proposed structure okay proposed construction that may be a school that may be institute okay so you have to simply provide the building planning in a practical language you have to provide the double line plan simply that's it that's the building planning okay now the most important the building planning is the first or the basic step okay the um, advanced step is that sanctioning work okay so what is meant by sanction okay look if you have already prepared the uh, double line plan and now you want to construct uh, that structure over a plot or over a land okay in that case you have to take the legal permission of authority that may be a municipal corporation or municipal council so in that case you have to prepare a specific drawing that is called as a submission drawing and you have to submit it with a required application to the specific authority so that will Uh, so th they will provide you the uh, approval or the rejection related to the plan or related to the proposed construction so that is called as a sanctioning so uh, what is the procedure of sanctioning and all detail are already given in the description so after watching this video you can watch that video too so that to clear the concept of what is the process of uh, sanctioning or what is the what is meant by building planning now the next question is who is your client basically if you started your business and the business is building planning and sanctioning then who will uh, pay you okay or who will provide the works to you basically answer is pretty clear and pretty simple the answer is that the person any person who want to structure any kind of structure okay including the home house okay then the school institute apartment any kind of structure and if he need if he or she need a legal permission of authority in that case he or she is your client okay that's the first point but in some case uh, look uh, in india or in any other asian country we have observed that people uh, not intend to follow the rules very strictly okay so in that case maybe you may uh, face the condition that the people will not ask you for the legal permission or the legal proposal okay but still there is a hope because in india or in any asian country if you want to construct any kind of structure minimum amount of investment is at least 25 to 30 lakh okay so the person who want to construct their house uh, which required a approximate estimate amount is uh, 30 lakh obviously he or she don't have that in a cash okay so he or she have to apply to the bank for the home loans okay in that case bank uh, demand the permission drawing or the sanction plan okay so basically uh, the person who want to construct and don't have a uh, cash amount okay uh, and he or she is applying to the bank for the home loan in that case he require a sanctioning plan so basically the person who is constructing any kind of structure is your client so yes there is a big scope to this field or to this business so as we discuss we are talking about the specific authority that may be municipal corporation of or municipal council so is there in scope that uh, do you need any kind of registration for uh, this business yes you need a registration called as a registered architect license or registered civil engineer license so basically how to apply for this license i have already provided a detailed video in description after this video you can simply check that and know how to apply for the registration process yeah you get it right the very important point that is qualification and experience look as per the state this may vary but the basic uh, qualification criteria is that at least you uh, you should have diploma in civil engineering okay so in that case you can apply for uh, the basic registration license okay and talking about experience look experience may vary with various state for example if i am belong to the maharashtra in that case in maharashtra for diploma holder uh, we demand minimum 10 year of experience for registered civil engineer license okay but in that case but for example you don't have a experience of 10 year and you have a diploma in that case you can apply for the license but you get the supervisor uh, level license okay so basically the diploma is a minimum qualification and uh, experience may vary with the state now let's talk about the skills 
because if you want to start this business basically you need some kind of uh, skills there are two types of skill i will say that the first one is the uh, we will say that the technical stuff okay or the software related skills basically at least you should uh, learn or you should uh, have a basic study or basic knowledge of autocad because if you want to prepare a submission drawing or simple double line plan in that case autocad is the basic software so at least you should uh, able to operate the autocad the other softwares are also uh, important for example revit 3ds max uh, then uh, for example depend on your state or your country you may use the other software but the basic software is autocad so that is the technical uh, point okay now let's come to the theoretical par, uh, part or the civil engineering or architectural point of view so here there are some important uh, subjects or important uh, topics you should be able to uh, learn or study okay so basically that point are the first is building drawing you should be able to study the building drawing properly because the building plan or the building drawing is the language of language for civil engineers or architects okay so that's the basic demand from you or the basic skill set you require the other is i will say that it's not very important but it will be beneficial if you have a, a basic knowledge of building construction because if you know uh, what is at the foundation what is at the lintel level what is at the slab level so in that case you can prepare a very clear cut section uh, section drawing okay so that is very important in submission drawing so yes they are uh, these two subjects are sufficient for the uh, for this business if you want to know uh, what kind of books you should read so in that case i have provided the uh, list of book in description you can get that book and simply study those books so that you can uh, able to uh, grow in this business now other important uh, skill set is that communication skill because look you are interacting with people right different kind of people for example your client then authority person or officer then maybe the labor or the private contractor so in that case you should be uh, you should have the basic uh, knowledge or the basic convincing power and the communication skill now let's talk about money okay so how much i can earn if i start this business what's the scope or what amount i can earn from this business the answer is pretty clear for example uh, if i talk the minimum amount okay for the even for the building planning so minimum amount for, for uh, per plan is 2000 rupees okay so at least you will earn from each plan 2000 rupees but if you are best or you are trying in a building planning plus sanctioning business then in that case your uh, earning may vary from minimum i will say the minimum 10000 to 30000 also okay so it uh, clearly depend on your state or your locality where you live how people are demanding for that uh, particular uh, service so in that case your earning may vary but the minimum amount for per plan or per per sanctioning is i will say that with sanctioning is a minimum 10000 because you have to uh, invest your time in that process for the sanctioning process so yes client will agree to pay that amount so minimum 10000 now you can calculate for example one client is paying you a 10000 rupees so calculate just simply calculate if you are able with your communication if you collect or uh, attract the clients okay so in that case if you have 10 clients multiply simply by 10000 rupees 50 uh, 50 clients multiply simply by 10000 so that's your earning so basically uh, here is not any kind of limit to the earning yes you can earn uh, depend yes and earning also depend on your experience for example if you are fresher in that case no one will pay you that money the first attempt okay so uh, once you uh, get into the field practice uh, again and again and after that once you get the position where you have the experience and knowledge after that you may uh, apply high charges too because that's the our field okay that's we do because if we are providing the better and uh, best service to our clients so in that case client will pay you that's not the issue so minimum earning i will say that with sanctioning building planning plus sanctioning will be minimum to this time is 10000 rupees and that is a really fine amount because you know that if you are working over site in hot sun weather or hot sunny weather in that case you will get 8 to 7000 rupees 7000 to 8 rupees per month by working on uh, as a site engineers okay so that's really better option than that to work over site because in uh, building planning or sanctioning work you simply have to sit in your office in ac or in a simple plan and prepare the plan and sanction drawing at least very few times you have to visit the site or the visit the offices and the 10000 rupees for that efforts is really worth it
now you will say that bro i am very excited but what about investment how much do i really need to invest for this business the answer is kind of uh, i will say that subjective for example if you want to start on an initial basis in that case you will have to spend your money or invest your money in a uh, two sector the first is learning process so basically autocad course is a basic course so in that case i will say that at least i'm saying at least 10000 rupees for that course okay that may be online or off offline dep depend on you okay then book stuff okay that's it all over but now on the actual field for example if you are starting from your home even from your home in that case you need need at least printer and laptop okay so just uh, calculate the amount of that uh, gadgets and that's your basic investment okay so that's the basic investment process but if we uh, take this process to the professional way so yes you need a office for example after look i'm advised I, i will highly recommend that don't start your office at initial basis okay just try for few years after that if you are getting a positive response by your client after that start your office just like me i have started my uh, office after one year of your my positive uh, client's positive response okay so for office setup i will say that it also depend on you for example i i spend at least 60000 for my office okay so that was the approximate amount i have invested over my just for my office okay so it may vary for you so i will say that in india or in any asian country i will say that minimum 1 lakh is sufficient to start the professionally for example your office setup plus your course plus all other thing that is required for this business so 1 lakh is sufficient and and i highly suggest that to go with this business because this is the best option for fresher you have a very minimum amount of investment look uh, the 1 lakh investment or the minimum 1 lakh investment is for those who are uh, better or who have a experience of minimum 1 year okay but if you have uh, zero experience okay you are just starting it then in that case only two things are required the laptop when i'm not suggesting the printer only the laptop or computer system and the other is your uh, course expenditure okay so basically that's the minimum investment otherwise there is no investment now the investment factor is completely depend on your choices so i will say that minimum amount may vary uh, i will say that may vary uh, to 50000 to 60000 or it may goes minimum up to 1 lakh to now whenever we talk about any kind of business we forget about the one very important topic and that is what's the future scope means i have started this business right now okay so that's a nice thing i am earning money that's also a great thing but what about future look uh, as a fresher point of view i will say that this is a very uh, great uh, field or i will say uh, that this is the best option for the fresher if you after your one year of experience or even if you are a complete fresher okay there is no Uh, issue regarding the option or the selection of this field but after some year that may be for i will say that 20 year or 10 years this field uh, will not provide you the that money or that uh, i will say that the output which you should get for example i am now working for uh, working in this field from past 3 years okay and my earning is not increasing that is the very important point because my earning is increasing very slowly the growth rate is very slow because for example if my client is paying 10000 rupees for per file okay so that rate will not change suddenly okay that will uh, require 5 to 6 uh, year to change from 10000 to 15000 okay so that's the issue so for example if you want to earn more money in that case i will not recommend this field after some years okay that may be for, for you maybe 5 years 10 year or 20 year that depends on you but if you need uh, money right now okay and you are great with the, all the skill i have already explained in that case this field is for you but if you want to grow more and more in that case i will suggest that the next step should be working as a uh, site engineer i'm not uh, talking about the private companies side engineer i am talking about construction with material or construction with supervision in that case uh, you can carry this uh, sector or field along with that business too for example if right now i am in that phase i am entering in that phase for example i have already uh, prepared the building plan okay then i start my sanctioning drawing okay now i am working as a site supervision engineer after some time i will take the construction with material okay so that's the way so i will say that if you stuck at this place you are happy with this uh, space or satisfied with this place then 
it's not good for you okay if you want to grow more financially in that case yes you have to upgrade yourself and i will say that this is the best option for fresher but for upgradation you have to uh, i will not say you have to leave this sector or you have to leave the sanctioning process but at least add some other uh, business for example that may be valuation exam uh, evaluation work that may be contractorship that may be private contractorship so basically add one uh, business uh, which we'll simply call as upgradation to your current business so i hope this video will help you and yes if you have any kind of queries simply comment 